first started realizing there was, I was a little different growing up when I was way less way crazy than my twin sister. Probably for like a long time, like like ever since childhood, I knew that I like thought about sexuality different from other people. In fifth grade, when we were supposed to take uh, sex ed, and we were all sent home with permission slips, and uh, all my classmates were very giddy and very excited about it, and I took it home and I said, it, gave it to my mom, and I said, "Can you sign me out of this? I don't need this." I was not even the least bit interested. And I'm sure I didn't say this out loud, but I was like, I'm never going to have sex. I figured out I was ace when I was like 19 going on to 20. About when I entered my first relationship at 19 or 20 years old. I first knew around 12. Uh, maybe like 12 or so. I didn't really have the word for it, but I knew, like I said, everyone else is really into puberty and kind of sexuality and theme and all that part. And I was like, this is kind of gross and I didn't really find anything fun or enjoyable or funny about it. I feel like I've always kind of had like the feeling that I was, but I didn't actually have the term for it until I was 18 and I Google searched it. I think I'd heard about it from a few different places, um, but the one that really stuck out to me was there is a character in the Magnus Archives, which is like a horror po podcast. Um, the main character actually is canonically asexual. People made me notice because of their reactions to just me being me. So basically, I didn't think anything of it. I wasn't thinking really deep about it. I was just living my best life. And then it was the people around me who was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And I'm like, no, what's wrong with you? Because I didn't have to like self-reflect about myself, but they made me self-reflect, even though I was already confident in who I was. So then I start thinking, oh, okay, I understand where they're coming from, but I also feel great with who I am. And even though there were negative emotions from a lot of family and fake friends, I still stood true to, you know, who I was and am. I grew up in the competitive dance world. So around a lot of young boys and young girls that were beautiful and very attractive and all that. Um, and especially with, with like the young boys, I, I saw like the transition that they had, well, at least some of them, um, where they were finding the girls attractive sexually. And I realized pretty early on, like, that's not me. <laughs> um, and for me at that time, it was like in the early 2000s, um, sexuality felt pretty binary where it was either straight or you're gay. And since I knew I wasn't straight, I just assumed that I must be gay. And I spent a lot of years trying to force myself into that box and like trying to test the waters um, sexually. And it never really felt right. Like I would say that like, it, like I never felt like I was enjoying any of this. It felt like I was just kind of following the script of like what I thought was supposed to happen or how I was, how I was supposed to feel. And that didn't feel good. I was one of those people who stereotypically drank a little too much during the pandemic. And uh, one day I just decided this is no longer serving me. Uh, also, I'm a mom of a four-year-old. And um, so I started reading Quitlet for inspiration and they listed all the benefits, which are clearer skin, more energy. But the one that kept coming up that bothered me was a better sex life. And I kept going, mm -hmm. I don't know what, what. sex without alcohol. <laughs> No matter what I did or what I, how much I wanted to and tried, I could not feel attraction whatsoever. And so it wasn't until after college that I actually found the word asexual. And it truly was like a light bulb moment where like all of my past experiences just started to like be recontextualized into a story that made sense. And I remember reading like the definition for the first time and finding like Avon for the first time and like crying because I was like, oh my god, I finally have like a word to describe how I'm feeling. I, I researched more and more uh, uh, asexuality because I felt like uh, I wanted to understand myself, why I wasn't interested. I didn't know about the term asexuality and so I had just kind of accepted like, oh, this is something that I will have to do eventually. And I just thought, oh, maybe I'm a late bloomer. You know, once I get to college, you know, once I get to high school, it'll be fine. And then nothing happened in high school. Once I get to college, I'll start to feel something. I didn't feel anything. Basically, once I graduated, I finally came to terms with my sexuality and, and came to own it. 
um, back when I was in high school, there was like a lot of my friends and a lot of peers around me that were always talking about sex and hookups and stuff like that. And I just really felt left out because I didn't have the same experiences. And uh, basically, I just started feeling like I should have those experiences in high school. And I did end up hooking up with a few people in high school, but I didn't like it. And uh, I just kind of brushed it off because I didn't know about asexuality. And then after I graduated high school, I got with my first boyfriend and it took us like almost half the year to even have sex. But I knew him for a really long time, which was great. So we had like a really good connection and stuff. But after we had sex, I still didn't feel right about it. Like it just felt wrong. And I started Googling all these questions about myself. And I ended up finding like stuff of that. I have low libido, I'm stressed out. I have a negative body image of myself and it just didn't feel right. And then I came across the term asexuality and it made me feel really comfortable with myself and I didn't have to feel like I was broken or there was something wrong with me. And then I actually, I was watching BoJack Horseman, which was recommended to me by a friend, not because of the asexuality, but because it takes place in LA. Um, and when Todd described asexuality I was like wow that sounds a lot like me and I could see myself using that label and it finally felt like exactly how I was feeling where I was having romantic feelings but not any sexual attraction to anyone so Bojack really helped me figure that out but what really solidified it was actually just life experience and um, partners very like communicating their interest and uh, just recognizing in myself there was nothing there for me um, and that that was that was a part of who I was.